Sports Live in the ATL, David here. I know I've been down this road before. But what makes me extremely, extremely angry and, and, and embarrassed is the Falcon fan base. Now, now again, let's clarify. It's not every Falcons uh, video maker on YouTube. It's not every loyal Falcons fan on Twitter. It's not every loyal Falcons fan in the world. So if this is not you, please. Pay attention. I don't care what the record is. I know how disappointing and deflating this 0-2 start is. I know the frustration of uh, the Falcons' history about not winning uh, big games in the playoffs like Super Bowls and uh, choking the NFC Championship games and some of the regular season games. I get that. It's extremely frustrating. Go watch a previous video of mine. It's hard being an Atlanta sports fan. It is. It doesn't matter. Falcons, Braves, Hawks, whatever. Just when you think you got it, Got that brass ring that you're reaching for, and all of a sudden, like in the dreams, you just go down and you and it keeps expanding and you you don't get it. College included. But there but there is no way that if you're really, I mean really a diehard loyal Atlanta Falcons fan, you're gonna wish uh the Falcons lose. I've been through every season you could think of. Three wins to sixteen. The last place finishes, next to last place finishes, 500 seasons, playoffs, two Super Bowls, a couple of NFC Championship games, divisional walk. I've seen it all. I've seen, except for the ni- even 1980, the collapse against the Cowboys. But I watched the NFL films history on the Falcons. And then you got YouTube video creators uh, making videos laughing at us about our failure. We already know that. But I wouldn't expect it from the Falcons fan base. But then again, sometimes I do. Because the Atlanta Falcons fans, a lot of y'all are fair-weathered, bandwagon, and unloyal. How? When I went on yesterday and I saw, oh, I'm a Falcons fan, but I hope they lose to the Bears so that way uh, Dan Quinn can get fired. Why? Dan Quinn's in a tough spot, of course. But why would you root for your team to lose? Just so one man can get fired. Maybe a win over the Bears could get this team turned around and then go on a huge winning streak, make the playoffs, and win the Super Bowl. How dumb would you look then, right? So, for you Falcon fans who think that, if the Falcons win on Sunday, I know you guys are going to be happy, but I'm not, I'm not hearing it. And what I will do is I will go back over your comments that I saw. Oh, I will go back over and I will remind you. I've already left you a couple comments. You know how I feel. I have no issues debating with Falcon fans. I've always been this way. If you're loyal to the team, to this logo, to this helmet, to the history of this team, you're going to stick with them regardless. I don't know how you could root for your team to lose. Just you can get one man fired. Or, like I heard last year, I won and said, oh, I hope we lose so we could tank and get a top pick. Yeah, I saw a lot of you same guys were static at the way the season ended. Y'all, a lot of y'all are a bunch of just fair-weathered Falcons fans. And I, Slitter, do not want you on our train. I don't. So when the Falcons turn this around, I don't want to hear from you. Of course I will, because it's your right. But that is embarrassing for you to root for your own team to lose. Just so you can get a guy fired. When... A win might be able to turn it around and get the Falcons in the direction they need to be. That is embarrassing. That That is utterly embarrassing, and you should be ashamed of yourselves. All of y'all, the ones that I saw, and I commented to every one of y'all, yes, I'm talking to all three of y'all that I saw, at least at that moment. I wasn't going to keep going down the list because I, I was that disgusted at what I was reading. Everybody's picking the Bears to win, it seems like, on YouTube. Well... Falcons got nobody to blame but themselves, but Atlanta can win. And just like Dallas, Atlanta clearly is more talented. But I'm not confident. I don't know what team's going to show up. I don't know if, if the Falcons are going to pull the same thing that they did last week, the week before, and every other time in history, or are they actually going to come out and do a complete game. All I know is that if you come out and you're beating the hell out of the out of the Bears, don't let up. You know, Raheem Morris is talking on the press conference on the radio today. Oh, how you could be aggressive in the first half and then change it in the second half. we got to stay active four quarters. So you were dumb enough 
to not only do it the first game, okay, but repeat it. So are you not paying attention? And it's frustrating because these guys are defensive coaches. I said that in a previous video. Defensive coaches should not be having this issue if you're a good defensive coach. You know, that's the part that's mind-boggling to me is that these guys are defensive coaches. This is what they get paid to do. This is how they put food on their table. And they act like they've never been there before. And then special teams get snafus. I mean, what the hell, man? I mean, we are being laughed at big time. Stephen A. Smith, be quiet. I got no respect for you. Never have. You're a guy, man, who probably never played the game. And if you did, it was only as far as the high school level. Be quiet, man. You're just a drama king entertainer on ESPN. That's all you are. You think you're, you think you're better than sliced bread. Well, trust me, sir. Uh, there are a lot of people here on YouTube who are a lot better than you. Okay? But it makes me angry. It really does. It makes me angry that Falcons fans will feel that way. But you want to know what? You're not true Falcon fans. If you were, you would always want this team to win. You will never see me root for Atlanta to lose. I don't care if we're having a bad season. I don't care if we're trying to get a coach fired. I, I, I will never root for the Falcons to lose. I want them to win all the time. Am I happy with the 0-2 start? No. With the way it happened? Absolutely not. Do I feel like we're capable of turning it around? Sure. Because we got the talent to do it. At least on the offense. But I wish to... You know, all these defensive problems that we keep having year in and year out. I'm talking the best. I, I, I would think that the last time we had a pretty good defense was 2012. You know, Asante Samuel and, and, and Abraham and company just, but then they collapsed in the, in the playoffs against the Niners in the NFC Championship game. So it's in our DNA. So people say DNA. It's in the Falcons and it's Atlanta sports DNA to, to not come up big when it, when, when it really matters most. And I don't get it. And a lot of it has been defensive issues because the Falcons have had good offenses with Matt Ryan and Michael Vick and, you know, Chris Chandler. It's consistently in the history defensive issues. And I don't know what the heck. And we've gotten defensive coaches up in here from Jerry Glanville to to uh, to Mike Smith to uh, Dan Quinn. All three defensive-minded coaches. And they've become head coaches of this organization. And they've had playoff teams and a couple of them Super Bowl-type teams. But yet it comes down to the same thing. What are we doing? That's what I want to know. What are we doing? We're wasting offense after offense after offense, blaming Matt Ryan, blaming Michael Vick, blaming uh, Chris Chandler. When you, when, why not look at it at the defense? This, that has been a, hist, a, his, a historical problem since... Charles Dimwit Dimry in the 80s. Are you serious, man? Come on. So I don't know what's going to happen on Sunday. I'm pr I want Atlanta to win. I'm going to broadcast it, and I'm expecting to win every week. But realistically, with the way that we played these last two games, in my NFL pick them, I'm picking the Bears. But I pray to God Atlanta wins. I want to lose that game. Okay, but if I'm gonna get something out of this season, it's a it's it's a winning uh, in the pick'em tournament. But I never want to see. Actually, take that back. I'm picking Atlanta to win. I I I don't have it in my heart to uh, uh to pick against my team. I can't do it. I, I cannot do it. And y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself, wanting the the Falcons to lose. Y'all aren't true fans. You're not loyal fans. You're bandwagon. You're fair weathered. And please comment below and tell me how you feel. Because believe you me, I'll tell you how I feel. And the Falcons turn this around, I'm going to remember. When all y'all who kept saying, you hope the Falcons lose so Dan Quinn can get fired, and all of a sudden you're happy and excited and rooting them on, I'm going to put you in your place. And I'm going to remind you what you said uh, in, uh, going into week three. I will. But uh, Falcon fans, stay loyal and true to your team. If you're not, get off. Because we don't need you. We got plenty of loyal ones out there. All right, don't forget tonight, there's a, there's a Falcon show, 8 p.m. Eastern time. There will be no guests this week. Could not make it happen, um, but uh, I will have a good show regardless. Uh, if there's a video maker, Falcons fan, that wants to come on to the show, you must be 18 and up and uh, everything. And uh, since nobody was able to make it this week, doesn't matter the subscriber count. I will let one person, maybe two in. If not, I'll go solo. But uh, I'm going to talk about the game. 
uh, some of the news, uh, my prediction. Um, NFL Stephen Rose Tournament will be on the show. I'm, I'm going to pick pick them, all my games then. Uh, I did pick uh, Jacksonville tonight. So, Stephen, make sure you check that. I already typed it to you. So, Sports Live in the ATL, Falcon fans, you bandwagon, fair-weathered, um, ungrateful. I know your frustration, but get off our train because I don't want you, and I'm out.